What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today with more screwdrivers and in the last episode I built this terrible plane and a lot of you pointed out it was terrible for a lot of different reasons. Uh, the main one being that these drag fins don't really do what I thought they do. They don't like align you to the direction you're traveling, they really just add a bunch of drag and so we should really just have them at the back. So I went ahead and upgraded and I built something a lot better and I was really really excited by this and this is sort of my newer version of a plane which I call a less terrible plane. You can see I've got the two fins at the back and they've got all these drag fins just to help keep you flying straight and then I've got these two crazy sort of engine setups that I came up with where I've got an engine driving a gear system and it actually goes through a medium gear to a small gear which then drives another medium gear to a small gear to another medium small gear and it does that four times on each side and of course we have two engines for the counter rotating to avoid the torque uh, but the thing is with with that setup is that these engines get an incredible speed increase coming off the engine and uh, off the gas engines and of course it makes the propeller spin faster and then of course we've got one and two to control our wings and uh, let's just get out of here because we're drifting into there so we can bank our wings you see as well if we want to uh, but then of course once we get up in the air we should just get uh yeah well you know the problem is there's a stupid there we go yeah there's a there's really a bad takeoff area this plane it doesn't take off so good but it flies really, really well um, as a plane. Like you can see, it's very maneuverable. It's really easy to control. Just using the gyro steering, we can, of course, you know, break those wings if we want to do extra roll controls. Originally, I wanted to hook the wings up into A and D, and I was like, oh, yeah, I can do that. But you can't actually map servos to A and D in this game. If you do, weird stuff happens with the servos because A and D are, like, kind of linked to the actual drive controls of the game that you just can't change. Uh, you know, for like the gyro that we're using right now to fly the plane. Anyway, it doesn't matter. This plane works really, really great. But I made this engine design. I was like, all right, this plane's pretty cool. It does like 200 kilometers an hour. Um, you know, it's not bad. 230 kilometers an hour. It's relatively stable. Uh, I realized there was one problem with it, though. If you put it in reverse, uh, for some reason, it goes much, much faster in reverse. You can see we're already doing 300, and it can actually do 400. Uh, so in doing that, I, I learned some things from this plane. And of course, I went and made a better version. All right, so this is what I call my sort of optimal plane. You see, it's the same setup, except now I've reversed all the spoilers, so they actually blow the air in the opposite direction, which makes it go faster. We've still got our twin engines. We've gotten rid of the landing gear because that was just extra drag. You don't actually need landing gear to take off and land, believe it or not, with planes. And, of course, I've got just four fins on the very back. Uh, and this plane flies really, really well. You can see it's, it's pretty much just a pod racer at this point, though. I mean, it's pretty much a rocket ship with wigs. It's very, like, slow to steer while it's going straight because it's obviously got a lot of gyro force as we're essentially two engines so you just sort of let off the engines and steer the direction you want to go and then point yourself and you're and you're really just you're a rocket ship with wings but we do a calm like you know 450 500 kilometers an hour i wonder if we can get that speed trap this is considered an e-class by the way like the game doesn't understand you know how this thing ranks it's like it's an e-class it's it, i mean it probably makes sense this is a racing game and we're currently flying around with spoilers on engines but of course this wasn't enough for me i was really like annoyed with the last video because i made a bad plane and so i was like all right i'm gonna spend some time and like work on a good plane and this design was cool but i thought okay we can do 400 kilometers an hour so surely that means that like you know 1600 kilometers an hour or 1200 kilometers an hour i mean is not far away right like because that's the speed of sound is like 1234 i believe at speed level i don't think i could get that speed trap if i wanted to i'd have to be so maneuverable but anyway, I thought, all right, let's make a supersonic plane, right? All we got to do is just have bigger props, spin it faster. Like, the, the same principle should work, right? Maybe put more gears on it and scale it up. And, uh, you know, and, and I'm going to give you a disclaimer right now off the bat. I have a plane that can break the speed of sound, but it can only break the speed of sound under a very specific condition. And I'm really annoyed with that. And I'm really annoyed with that condition. And I would like to figure out how to remove that condition. And I've, I've been working at this for a while now, like days. And I've been like, you know what? I'm just going to post a video because someone in the comments is going to have an idea on how I can do it and make this better. This plane's awesome, by the way. I've been basically spending more time in screwdrivers now flying planes than actually playing the game. But I'm totally here for it. At some point in time, I'll get back to the races. Um, but anyway, let's go take a look at my wonderful garage of mystery items. All right, so as you can see, I've got a lot of different planes, and we're going to go through all the different reasons they failed, because I'd really like you guys to sort of experience it with me. And and I think right off the bat, we'll go to, like, the best version first, and then we're going to talk about all the failed versions. So this is my close but not quite version, and this is, you know, you can kind of pretty much tell how it's a little different. We'll go into free drive. We actually have a supersonic map which is kind of fantastic. So let's go to the center of this map. Let's talk about this for a second. So you can see, it's it's obviously the same idea, 
Um, all I've really done is I've extended the wings as far as they could possibly go. I'm using a 15 long beam up there to make each of those, like, spoiler engine pieces, whatever you want to call it. And we've got four sets of gears, right? So we've got each set, instead of having only two sets of gears, we've got four sets. So we've got eight speed increases, you know, same deal, one engine on each, uh, same launch setup. And this works as well as you would expect it to. Now the speed of sound is 1234. You can see on the bottom right there, this does like 1120. So I call this playing close, but not quite. It's really great. I tried flying up and going down, you know, with gravity, maybe having gravity help, doesn't matter. It, it does not give you significant enough speed to get to 1234. So this plane is literally subsonic by, it's doing like Mach 0.95 or some nonsense like that, and it can't do Mach 1, which is really annoying. There you go, 1130, right? It also drifts for some reason when it gets going really fast. At slow speed, it doesn't drift, but when it gets up to 11.30, it, it drifts. Anyway, we're gonna go through. So I got to this point, and I was like, okay. So we made a plane. I, I first made that, that other plane with the twin engine set up, the gears, and I was like, this is exciting. We're making turbines now, right? I thought, you know, turbines were making... I actually kind of got my inspiration from, like, if you think of a, a big turbo pat... Uh, turbo bypass engine like a, a normal turbo fan engine on a plane all the turbine of the driving stuff that drives the fans is like inside you know the center of it and then the fans are kind of around the outside well they blow air around the outside so i kind of thought of that and i was like well i could put like big rotating things that just you know have all the gears inside of them so anyway so that was close but not quite and so there's a weird principle that you come across with screwdrivers and that is i don't understand how the screwdrivers physics engine works at all like at all like other games the physics engine kind of makes a little bit of sense in the screwdrivers the physics engine makes no sense to me i don't understand how it calculates how stuff works i don't understand how it calculates drag and as a result we're very very close but not quite this one is the one that can break the speed of sound under one condition by the way we're not going to get there yet we'll get there don't worry we'll, we'll have a sonic boom before the end of i'm only slightly going insane i've been working on this for like like i i kid you not like three four five days um, and it's been a problem because I've just been like, why is this not, why am I not able to do it? And I saw after like 11, you can see I've got 11, 11 different planes here. And eventually I was like, you know, I just have to make a video because someone in the comments is going to be like, oh, con, you didn't do A, B, and C. And that's why it's not supersonic. And, and, and then, and then it's going to be like, I make that one change and it's going to work great. But you know, instead we have to descend into madness first before we actually can can get there so anyway i know what you're gonna say I'm, I'm gonna try and anticipate every one of your comments before they happen so make sure you watch the whole video and if i don't anticipate your comment then leave the comment down below with the a b and c steps to fix the problem because i'm we're there we're there but we're not there you know what i mean we're there we're there but we're not we're not quite there yet anyway so my second thought was i'm gonna make a plane that's a little bit wide i don't even know why i'm showing you this guy's this one's freaking terrible but I'm like, I'm gonna make a plane that's got engines that are a little bit wider apart. You can see I've got those extra long, like, little spokes on them. Uh, and the reason behind that, I put wings on this too. This was an early prototype. This was a bad idea. But the thought behind this was, well, like, okay, we can put bigger engines on it, right? Like, we put the bigger spoilers, the carbon fiber spoilers. That'll generate more thrust, right? Because it seems like the engines get to full revs no matter what. So, we can just put a bigger spoiler on it. It'll generate more thrust, right? So, this one spins out of control. I don't know why. The engines are still counter spinning, by the way. I know you're going to be like, oh, Con, you have the engines reversed. And I guarantee you they're not. Um, it just it spins out of control. I don't know why. The engines are they are reversed. One is the opposite of the other. It's the exact same setup as the previous one. Uh, but for some reason, when they're spaced out this way, even though it's like, it's the only six gears too. It's not even seven. But yeah, it just, it just gyros out of existence. So anyway, so I don't know what the deal is with that one. So I scrapped it. I can, I know someone in the comments will be like, Con, your engines are over. Here, I'll, just to prove the point, I'll flip this one. There we go. We flipped only one engine, right? So now if they were backwards, they should be, it should be forwards, right? Just to, just, to, I know because someone's going to say it. Someone's going to say it to say, it. I understand. I, I know what you're going to say. See, look, it still does it. See, see, okay, see. So, you know, right now it shouldn't be, but it is, right? So, you know, you know, we can, we can. We can make a break dance. So, of course, you're going to say, well, Con, it's because you didn't have the right arrow. So this is this is that exact same plane again. Uh, and this is with the big wings on it. This is my thought, you know, big, big wings, big planes. So you need a big spacing between the engines so you can do big wings. Again, you know, it still it still doesn't, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't do well. Right? It's just, it's not, it's not a really good 
yeah. Anyway, so we're we're moving on. We're moving on. The big wings was a terrible idea. So I obviously gave up on that. I was like, I'm not going to do that. So we're going to go back to the small design because the small design worked. And I said, well, let's just add an extra set of gears, right? Four gears makes it go fast. Five gears will make it go faster, right? Like five sets of gears is obviously going to be a better ratio than four sets of gears because, you know, now we've got an extra two sets of gears. Uh, but five sets of gears does this again. I, again, we're back to the... This is the plane that worked once upon a time. Again, the engines are still counter-steering. But I don't understand why it, with four sets of gears it was fine, and with five sets of gears the physics is like, you know what you need? A really, really strong, aggressive gyro force that generates because, for some reason, the speeds aren't the same anymore. Like, I don't know how the engines are somehow, maybe because the engine speed is so fast that the game can't calculate it. That was my only thought, is that the RPM is so high on the end of the engine, the game's like, bruh, I don't know what to do with this RPM. And then it just freaks out and just gives you a, a random gyro force anyway, because one of them is slightly not the same RPM as the other. Like, the engines have to be perfectly in sync RPM-wise for you to not have any gyro force, right? So, that's my only thought on that one. But anyway, once again, terrible plane, but we're moving on. So, of course, you know, I thought, well, okay, well, if five sets of gears is doing too much, I thought, what if I change the gear ratio and do a couple of large gears here, right? So we can have a couple of large gears initially and then get it. And maybe, we're, like, this is a slightly less ratio than the five medium ones, but it's still slightly more than the four medium. So maybe this is better. And it kind of is. You can see we don't get as much gyro force, but it still gets some gyro force. And I don't know why it gets some gyro force, but it does. And it's like, and then eventually it just break dances. You know, and then, and then kind of just, like, yeah. So, you know, I don't understand the physics of this game. Remember what I was saying? I don't understand the physics of this game. I don't understand the physics of this game. That's what I meant by I don't understand the physics of the game, is that I don't actually understand the physics of this game. I went back to the four gear design because I figured, okay, at this point, this seems to be the maximum gear ratio that the game will let me do without exploding the gyro forces. So maybe that's just the max I can do the, the propellers. So I thought, okay, well, what if I put these little extension bits, you know, onto the front to make it go faster? Because now we've just got, you know, a longer turbine, right? That makes sense. Like the big, the big fan blades didn't work for some reason. It can't do it with that. But maybe with longer, sm more small fan blades, it'll work better. And, uh, no, it goes back to doing this. There's a lot- Oh, I got a, a new- oh, a new spawn point. That's interesting. Didn't know there- there was a spawn point there. But yeah, you can see we go fast! We're really fast, we just have no control. Um, but we're still doing a thousand kilometers an hour. But yeah, it just- I- I don't- I don't- I don't know what to tell you. It- you can't extend it. It just becomes too much weight, I guess, on the end. And because it's spinning the weight too quickly, the gyro force, like, becomes uneven. I- Again, I don't understand how it works, but, you know, we're, we tried. We, I tried this idea because I thought, you know, more, bigger blades doesn't work. More blades doesn't work, right? So then I had, okay, I had another idea because I know you guys are going to be like, well, Khan, you're doing it stupid. You could do the, uh, the, the medium blades. Uh, do I even have, <laughs> did I even save the version? I have so many, ver failed. There's so many failed. Failed. Oh yeah, here we go. See this one. You're like, Khan, why don't you just use less props but double them up, right? Because, like, you know, that would make more sense. If you had, you know, instead of having one prop. And this, this you'd think, would go faster. And it does fly. See, the gyro force is controllable. And it's not, you know, it's it flies really well. It's actually really smooth. It's one of the smoothest flying ones. But it only does 300 kilometers an hour now. I, I don't understand how. We added more props to this. Um, the engines, like, I think are still powerful enough. Do I have to, maybe I double up, ooh, should I try doubling up the engines on this? Is this like a version that just doesn't work because the engines are double, aren't, oh, I never tried that. If this works, I don't think it's gonna work, but I, if it does, I'm gonna be very excited. Oh, it's fast. And it's still controllable. Now see, it still doesn't, it does 600. The doubling up the props doesn't. I don't, I don't understand how, do I, does it just, and now it, it really pulls. Do I need more, do I need more thrust? I don't know. Anyway, let me know in the comments down below if, if this is actually a viable option. I don't want to keep exploring this because I have so many more fails to show you guys that are just absolutely terrible, but this one actually might have, pro like, hold on. Let me, let me do a quick, let me do a quick 10 second check because I don't want to add another set of engines because that might just be causing more problems, but let's just do the turbo check. 
Let's just add four turbos, just to give it a little bit more power. Like, does it go faster with more power, or is 600 now the new- Like, you know what I mean? Like, we went from 330 to 600, do I have to just add four or five engines? Turbos. Oh man, we might need to just add more and more engines to this. Uh, okay. Alright, the most engines I could fit on this was three without having to extend the axle. Um, like, I'd have to put some sort of an axle extension piece. The max axle length is nine. So, anyway, we got three with turbos. Now it pulls with the gyro. And now it wants to lift up. Not, it's still not faster than my other one, though. Yeah, like, it still only does 900. All right, lad, I only have one more fail, and that was to prove that maybe uh, you don't need big engines to power props. Like, maybe the game doesn't actually care. Uh, turns out you do, and if you use small engines, they freak out. And I don't know, I don't know what the deal is with that. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a weird, it's a weird phenomenon. But anyway, we're gonna go back to the only thing that actually matters, which is the one that can break the speed of sound, and that is this one here. And you probably already know how this is gonna happen and how we're gonna break the speed of sound. But this one's interesting because it's got one large gear at the back, which generates a little bit of downforce, but it's the only one that, or a lot of downforce, sorry, a little bit of extra speed. Uh, but it's the only one I have that breaks the speed of sound even though it rotates out. And the way it does is really simple. It just kind of like smashes a little bit of its props off first. And then, and then, oh, hold on a minute. Yeah, there we go. See, once you get enough props smashed off, it flies really, really well. And then it goes really fast for some reason. Right? Like, like okay, it's still spot. It got to smash a few more props. But yeah, it, it's got, again, the gyro problem with the gears. But I think it's because the game likes to calculate the fact that, you know, once the vehicle's been spawned, that's the vehicle, regardless of how much gets smashed. Like, you can see, like, parts are not attached to anything anymore. But the game doesn't care. So it seems to only calculate like the gyro force based on what parts are left, but it calculates the speed based on like all the existing parts. I think we smashed too much here though. Yeah, we, we needed to keep the tail. But yeah, basically all you gotta do is just, you know, you build this and then you stop. But it annoys me because there, for some reason the way this works, and, and I don't know what the deal is, but when you try and look at like the aerodynamics in, in the screwdriver's menu, it calculates all these turbine blades as like a negative aerodynamics force. Which makes sense if they were not spinning, but then they're spinning, so I don't know how it calculates the aerodynamic effect of, like, a turbine, but, like, is it more effective to have one blade that's sped up really fast? But anyway, yeah, it's easy enough to break the speed of sound if you just, like, smash off half your props, because now it's got no, like, no wind resistance, right? So now we're doing, like, you know, a calm, casual, you know, 1800 kilometers an hour or whatever, because none of the props are actually slowing us down anymore. Like, see that? It's just, yeah... But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Like, it's so close. My other plane, like I said, we'll go back to that one. But it, it's, it goes 1120, 1130 on a good day. And it's like, I just can't get it to go past that point. And this one seems to do it with the... Uh... Okay. Um... We were doing like 30,000 kilometers an hour there for a second. I don't, I don't know. This hasn't never happened before. I don't know what, um, yeah. But anyway, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Obviously, uh, you know, this is the closest one I have. And again, it's close. It's 1120. I'd love to make one that can control the speed of sound while still being, you know, a flyable plane. I don't know if the turbine, though, is the way to go. Like, I've been doing this turbine method. I thought it was, but maybe it isn't. Maybe there's a better way to do it. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'm sure someone's got the ABC steps that'll fix all my problems and uh, tell me how to make a plane fly in a racing game. At some point in time, I'll probably actually build, like, a car. Maybe with a proper, like, you know transmission like you're supposed to do but it has been quite enjoyable to try building planes maybe that's the problem maybe i need to build a plane that has a gear and like a gear system that actually like isn't just a straight drive from the engines maybe that would make it better i don't know but yeah let me know what you guys think hit those buttons down below and as always i hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time